Hey everybody, welcome back. I wanted to share an excerpt from my new course, Learn Affinity Designer Fast. I'll be launching it next month, that's June of 2018. So let's just jump right in and get started. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, setting some object defaults. So let's go ahead and create an object. Alright, so the factory default when you create objects, whether you're creating them from these kind of preset objects in your uh, tools panel or you're doing a freeform object that you created with the pen tool, the default is a fill of this light gray color, a stroke of black, but there's no value to the stroke. Okay, so that's what we have here. So the object properties that you can set as defaults are listed down here at the bottom of the screen. They're the fill, which includes all the color, gradient, opacity, and noise values, and the stroke. And that includes any variable here that I've listed them all here. They're available on your stroke panel. All of these variables here on your stroke panel uh, can be set as defaults. Okay, you can customize them and then set them as the default. Okay, so let's, let's do this. We're going to go ahead and change the color to blue, and we're going to set a stroke value. All right. The different levels of setting a default, and I've listed them down here. They sound kind of confusing, but it's actually very simple. When you synchronize the default, you're setting it for the document only. When you save a default, you're saving it globally, so all future documents will use those defaults. Okay. When you revert within a document, when you revert the default, it reverts to the last saved default. Okay, and then there is a factory reset that restores the uh, light gray and the black stroke with zero value. Okay, so for this example, we're going to go ahead, select our object. We're going to come up to our toolbar. These two buttons here are your object default buttons. This first one, the blue one, synchronizes the default. Okay, so now we've set the default for this document to be this blue with the black stroke. Okay, so we'll sh just go ahead and grab the ellipse tool and you'll see that it comes out at the default. So what if I wanted to change that? Okay, I'm, I'm in the middle of my project and I want to change this. So I'm going to go ahead and change the value here. I want it to be red and I want the stroke to be blue. Hey, if you are enjoying my video, go ahead, show me a little love. Hit that big red subscribe button. My YouTube subscribers will be the first to know when I launch my Learn Affinity Designer Fast course. All right, so within this document, I want this to now be my default. So I'm going to go ahead and synchronize this. So now when I create an object in this document, it comes up with the new default. Okay, but for this particular instance, I want to be able to revert back to the original default that I set. Okay, so when I go, when I have your object selected, you can hit revert, which is this key right here with the red uh, slash, and it will revert it back to the last saved um, defaults. Okay. Okay. So now we've reverted this document back to this set of defaults. So if we go and make another object, it is the blue again. Okay. So let's go back. We're going to take this. We're going to synchronize it again. Okay, so now it's the default again in this document. But now I want to show you how to save it for all future documents. So you'll come up to your edit in your menu bar. You're going to come down to defaults, and here's where you can find all of these commands as well. The synchronize, the revert, are these two are buttons that are on your uh, toolbar. We want to hit save this time. Okay, so now if I open up another document, I'm just going to open up a new document. Now, you'll notice right away it already has this color pattern here. So when we create something, it, it uses those defaults that we saved. Okay? So when you save your object defaults, it affects all future documents. Okay? When you revert, it goes back within your document, it goes back to the last saved default. Okay? And if you want to... Go back to the factory reset. You'll just go up to edit, down to defaults, and select factory reset. Okay? You'll notice it takes it back to the gray with the uh, black stroke value, and your objects are back to the factory reset. Okay? 
So that's all there is to customizing and setting your object defaults. It really is a powerful tool and will help your workflow become more efficient, so don't be afraid to use it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.